baby's coming. How exciting. Congratulations. Well, here we are ready to pack and prepare for some more journeys across the world, which I'm sure this child will see many of and will wear many hats. And, uh, well, like that one. You never know what hats they're gonna wear. Could be something like that. But, uh, you know, it could also be something like this. Or, your child might wear this hat. There's a lot of rice involved in that hat. Let's hope they don't wear that hat too much. You wear that hat too much. We love you. We're so excited for you. <laughs> love you so much, the both of you. You are a gift to this world and are bringing the greatest gift that the world could ever receive. And Rebecca Jean, that thing's coming out of your belly, your womb. Whoa. 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 Uh, Preston, make sure you can catch. Hats. Preston and Rebecca, um, I feel so honored to have been part of the experience where Temple was created. I don't have kids, but my advice would be get out there and um, really experience all of life with your kid. I'm so excited for this next chapter for all of you. I'm just going to share a little bit of my view. Love you guys. This is a message for you, Baby Temple. My name is Judy. And your grandmother, Irene, and I have been best friends since we were teens. I've known and loved your mama and Anna Annie since they were born. I was a school teacher for 40 years. And if I had ever had children of my own, I would have wanted to clone your mom and Annie. I'm so glad I got to visit with your mom and dad twice before you were born. You're the ray of sunshine I saw in your mom's eyes whenever she spoke about you. And I loved watching your daddy put his head against her belly to feel you and get closer to you. I can hardly wait until November when I return to San Francisco to meet you in person. You are the most loved, adored, and cherished child. Your extended family waits with bated breath for your arrival. My dear Rebecca and Preston, Congratulations. A lot of water has gone under the bridge since I discovered you, Rebecca, who had, uh, as a six-year-old little girl, who had taped two black garbage bags under her arms and was about to jump out of a tree. I'm sure you thought you were going to float to the ground. Um, as I saw that you were about to jump, I said, little girl, let's think about this for a second. You're going to hit the ground before the bags fill with air. You thought about it and you got down. Um, I was there in the nick of time. As you were about to jump, probably you would have broken something. I was on my way to work and had passed by your house many times. Heck, I watched your mother uh, move you into the house. You and your sister. That doesn't change my life. And now you're gonna have a baby. Congratulations. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs>
Hey you guys, congratulations. So excited for you. I can't stop telling you that. <laughs> wow. What an amazing spirit and smart, intelligent spirit to choose you as parents. So lucky. So glad that you guys are on this journey and I'm really, really happy to share it with you. It's been the biggest and best spiritual journey that I've ever been on and it keeps going. <laughs> it just goes and goes. So welcome and I look forward to sharing stories with you and tips you, me giving but also receiving because that's how it works. We're not trained in this and it's very, very humbling. Yes, the human experience to be a parent, wow. <laughs> it blows my mind every week and I don't get sick of it and I don't get surprised from it because it surprises me every week. It does. <laughs> um, so anyway, I just love you guys and um, welcome. Welcome to this amazing journey. Love you. On July 19th, 2015, I went up to San Francisco to spend the night with Rebecca. I'm Rebecca's mom. She had just recently met Preston and she asked me what I thought of him and I told her what I thought. <laughs> and they I knew how the future would go for them. I just felt it very deeply in my heart that they had a ladder of love that they needed to hold up for each other and that they would have some trials and tribulations along the way. But I also knew that there was going to be a little one who wanted to come down from heaven to be with them and they needed to go up to heaven to bring her down. I don't know how I knew that, but I knew it. And it has happened that way. And they've each held that ladder of love at times when the other wasn't so sure. And now, very soon, our little Missy is going to be here. And I am so happy for them both. And I hope that they do what little Rebecca did, what older Rebecca is doing, which is keeping their love on their sleeve for the rest of their lives together and bring all that love to whoever chooses to come their way. Rebecca, I could talk about how Rebecca filled my life with joy and now she is going to have a similar experience. Um, I could talk about that. I think I want to talk about one thing. The biggest responsibility that she has ever had is about to come down on her and on Preston. It will test the standards of loyalty and kindness and honesty and will make them better people. And because of that, they will have a better daughter. They will make wonderful parents. Hey, Becca, it's Kim. I just got my baby to sleep and it's 10 p.m. So I'm recording this video tribute. My advice is uh, get through the first three weeks and you can get through anything and then get through the next three. After six weeks, things start looking a little bit more doable. Um, happy baby times. Uh, this is, of course, going to be wonderful and magical and also really, really hard. Um, but you guys will be great. Here's the detritus of uh, coming home from camping with a bunch of baby gear. I love you and uh, Happy baby times. Hello, Preston and Rebecca. We love you so much. And we are so excited for little baby Temple to join the world. And we just know that you're going to be such awesome parents and such a fun family. And we can't wait to be family friends with you. 
and spend time in the swimming pool together. What else do you want to do with them, Raven? And spend time crawling around in the grass and enjoying life. So the piece of advice that I want to give you is to remember that your intuition is so powerful and so profound and that you can really trust your intuition as parents to guide you in every aspect of your journey. And there are infinite unknowns in life. Life is a exclusively unknown and parenting makes that so clear and so obvious. Um, but it's a beautiful practice. It's a beautiful opportunity to embrace the unknown and just trust your intuition as your guide and enjoy it's so much fun there's so much fun everybody talks about how hard it is and how much work it is and you know that's true but it's also so much fun when you have your little squidge in your hands and they just teach us so much about life and joy and uh, yeah such a special journey <clears throat> congratulations we love you so much from me and noah and little baby raven and Preston, just want to wish you two the best of luck on your newborn baby to be, and I hope you're enjoying your new home. Best wishes from Stevens and the Manning family. Well, Preston, you beat me again. You had a kid before me, and no one could have seen this coming, but it happened. Congratulations, man. Rebecca, you're amazing for putting up with him, because I know he can be a handful. But I wish y'all nothing but the best, total happiness, and I've got to make it out there to come see you guys. It just hasn't worked out yet, but hopefully soon. Anyway, y'all guys are awesome. Baby Temple, if you're watching this, Uncle Zane's coming for you. Hello, hello, most magical of bunnas from Auntie Brenda. Loving you so much and so excited <clears throat> for this magical birth to come. A new bunna in the world. What could be more magical? Um, I'm looking forward to continuing to be a part of your magical family. I'm so grateful to have you all in my life. And to watch you continue to grow and find even more love in every moment. That is my favorite, 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 favorite thing about you. Above all of your other magical qualities is the always finding love in every single moment and being able to create so much beauty and magic. Um, and how you're going to do just amazing with the whole parenting adventure and welcoming a new spirit into this world. <clears throat> um, a little bit of, like, from the deepest of my heart, parenting magic is uh, I had this beautiful moment when I was, like, early 20s, which is, you know, that period of time when we finally get over our gripes with our parents and realize, you know, that they did our, their best and, you know, all that jazz and the big moment for me was <clears throat> I knew that I was going to be a parent someday and I was wondering how how do I know that I did it how do I know that I was a good parent what am I trying to optimize for <laughs> with all of the different things that can go right and go wrong and where I can put my energy and where I can put my heart and you know um, I realized that for all of the things I got, for all the things I didn't get, all of our childhoods are different. So, you know, it's not about what we're given. Um, but I was given the foundations, the tools to find my own way in life. Um, and <sighs> so that, you know, just having those foundations for me to explore, for me to figure things out, make up my own mind, follow my own heart, and pave my own way, and leave space for my soul. Like that, that to me is success. Um, and I know that you guys are going to do so amazing creating 
a magical happy bana who can figure out exactly who she is and all of the magical things she's meant to bring in this world. Um, I can't wait to see what that is and be a part of it. Mwah! I'm sending you so much love for now and forever and big, 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 big squeezes to you and the puppies and the kitties and everybody in your life. Mwah! Hey, Rebecca, it's me, Carl, and I just wanted to say that you and Preston are having a great kid, and what I would say is that you definitely should pay attention to him, because if you don't, they're going to look like me in the kitchen. <laughs> Hi, Preston and Rebecca. We've been thinking that maybe you guys have not been getting enough parenting advice, and so today I present parenting advice from Mommy Bird and Baby Bird. Beep, 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 beep. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is keeping your nest nice and fluffy. Remember to fluff up the pillows every day because baby birds do their best development in a fluffy, fluffy nest. Next, let's talk about feeding time. Remember, when feeding your baby bird, one worm at a time. She's gonna try to get more than one worm, but when you give her too many worms, <laughs> she'll grow too fast. <laughs> and then she'll leave the nest too soon. One worm at a time. <laughs> now, I know this doesn't seem like it's going to happen because the baby bird is so tiny. I mean, look how tiny she is. But there will come a time when she grows up and she has to fly out of the nest. So make sure that you treasure and capture all of those special and important moments in as many mediums as possible including video and photography, and of course, our favorite sculpture. They can't tell if you can see this. <laughs> we love you guys so much. From me and Baby Bird, we can't wait to welcome the arrival of young Prebexton. <laughs> we love beep, you, beep, beep, beep. we love you, beep, 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 beep. beep. Can you imagine a more nourished and cosmic creature embodied on this planet? Thank you for leading the way for the next generation of our community. Love you. We love you so much and we're so excited to cuddle you and the new beautiful baby girl. We're so proud of you and so excited to be in community together. Mwah. Love you. Welcome to Spaceship Earth, baby temple. Here's a little song for you. Sing it, oh, baby temple. Welcome to the spaceship. We got a really, really nice community for you. Some real nice parents too. Oh, baby tempo, welcome to the spaceship. We love you, we love you. Love you guys, blessings. Mwah. Hi, Rebecca Jean. Hi, Preston. Hi, Baby Temple. Can you say hi, Baby Temple? Hi, Baby Temple. Oh, this message is for you, Baby Temple. You are already so wise in the parents that you chose. Such an amazing mama, such an amazing papa. We're really looking forward to meeting you. This is Soraya. She's excited to meet you. <laughs> and Mama Bear and Papa Bear, so proud of you both. So excited for you. 
and preparing for this new chapter that's just around the corner. Gosh, the best advice that I have is enjoy it. Really be present for it. Really show up fully, not only for the bay, but for yourselves, for for each other. And may this initiation of parenthood <laughs> is just deepen your love for life, for all of life, and for for one another. I'm just so excited for you and hope that you consider us allies. <laughs> um, you know, we know our, our children are our elders in universe time. They have so much wisdom. And so the second piece of advice I have is to really cultivate humility and bow to these beautiful teachers. Are you my teacher? No. Yes. <laughs> you are. You taught me so many things. <laughs> yes. Yes. So enjoy it. Be present for it. <laughs> and be humble through it. And the last thing that I'll say is whew, be compassionate. There's a lot to learn and there's a lot to unlearn. Gentle. So may you both be blessed and patient through both the learning and un unlearning <laughs> of, of, of all that may be. And oh, I got a lick. Thank you. <laughs> oh, we love you. I've got a kitty, Soraya, licking my arm. <laughs> May your journey into family in this new edition be playful. Oh, and be so nourishing in all the ways that it can be. <laughs> Do you have a blessing for the baby? You want to say anything? You have a note? Do you, do you want to tell them? Maybe baby Temple will be able to play ponies with you. Would you like that? Mm. <laughs> we love you so much. Bye-bye. Hey. Bye-bye. You're through? Wanna? Wanna? Oh, no. Of course, yes, yes, yes. Are you serious? You actually did a test? And that's what it showed? That's what it showed on the test. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Oh, no. Are you serious? Oh, no. Oh, no. I got very surprised this morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, babe. Babe. That's very surprising indeed. <laughs> Roar. Roar. Oh, babe. <laughs> <laughs> You're freaking out way less than I freaked out. <sighs> freaking out doesn't really help anybody. <laughs> I like, so remember how I told you I meditated downstairs? Yes. I meditated with my hands in my belly and I was like, whatever like is will be like, and I just like connected. And... <laughs> Wanna, <laughs> it's very surprising. It's <laughs> very surprising. So I'm just gonna take really good care of myself. <clears throat> and see what happens. Rue. Wow. Roar.
<sighs> oh, babe. I love you so much. I love you so much. Right. And then I thought, well, it makes total sense because of all the love we shared in that moment. It does make Ladies. sense. It does make sense. It's not that much of a surprise. Baby! You're so calm. Oh, babe, I love you. I am your rock. I love you. You are. <laughs> okay, all right. I'm so proud of you, baby. But doctors, the, the specialist doctor said it's not even possible for me. I know. Daniel said he didn't think it was possible ever in my whole life. Are. Well, he was wrong about the simulation. He was wrong about this too. No <laughs> one can be perfect. Are you happy? How do you feel? Yeah, I'm happy. Because it's like, because it's a baby born of like so much love. <laughs> also, it's psychedelic. <laughs>